Now, as you can see, this vest is awesome. Like, I love how this looks. It looks worn out, and I'm not even upset with all this worn uh, glue residue and all that stuff right here. It actually looks like it's seen some battle right here, and it's like a bit snug right there. And you can actually adjust the, uh, the adjustment of the vest right there. This looks so cool. You have your shotgun shells. It literally looks like the one from the show. And it's a custom tactical vest uh, that they made, especially for the Punisher. But this thing was probably the coolest built so far. Like, oh my god, this looks so freaking good. Like, I can't even get enough of how well that looks. That looks insane. I'm guessing a lot of you are going to say, oh, wait, 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 what about the skull? What about the one important thing? The, the skull, the one thing that actually stands out. Okay, there is a reason why I haven't made the skull yet. That's only because I'm going to be doing a part three for this video, the final thing. But yes, this is just the vest itself. We are going to be doing a test video. We're going to try doing a BB gun, a pellet gun, a paintball gun. We're going to see how well this works and see if it's good for uh, some sort of combat. The reason why it took me so long just to build this project is because I wanted to see if it was actually bulletproof of some sort. So I wanted to try to make it at least strong enough to stop a BB bullet. There are a lot of layers into this. This is a uh, very thin rubber along with denim fabric. So I don't know. I have like a 75% chance that this is going to stop a BB. But I don't know. I guess we're going to have to find out and see next video. Hopefully we'll start shooting this weekend. Um, my brother's looking forward to seeing this thing in person. He hasn't seen it yet. But he usually helps me out with the videos. But I love how this thing came out. This is just amazing. I love how it looks. Even without the skull, you can even tell like a skull goes there. Like That's amazing. Hopefully in the future, we work on bigger projects like these. Hopefully we can probably do like actual bulletproof Mandalorian armor or uh, Kingsman slash John Wick suit that's bulletproof or any suit in general like I would love to try to make a Batman armor suit because Batman has always been one of my favorite uh, comic book heroes but not today because we did the Punisher and holy crap what an announcement for John Bernthal to come back to play Frank Castle again. And I'm so excited. It's also been announced that he's also going to get another series. And my man is back as the Punisher. I am so happy about this. He was born for this character. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, two-part build. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. And it has been a long, long process just to make this build. Like, I, I couldn't even tell you how many times I had to, like take breaks just from doing this but I hope this tutorial build and the previous tutorial build helped you follow along my instructions really well uh, you guys are gonna get a better chance of looking at the vest later on uh, in part three I'm gonna be painting the skull um, in my way we're gonna be testing it out see if it's uh, bulletproof of some sort but comment down what do you guys think do you enjoy my design of my Punisher vest uh, is there anything I might have missed out? Is there anything you think I could have done better? Tell me uh, right before we do part three because I would love to hear your guys' opinions uh, help improve my projects. As of now, this is the Punisher vest and I love how it looks. Thank you very much for watching Undead Survivor. I will see you in the next video. Undead, out.